banners and they're all in the yard and they're shouting freedom. So they're on the other end of this corridor. Freedom refugee! 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 was moved and touched by that experience. Uh, my name is Kelly. Um, I came as a refugee uh, from Sri Lanka. Oh, illegal immigrant, economic migrant, transferee. That's what you guys listen to on TV, but yeah, I'm a person. When I was in Christmas Island, whenever I checked the news, and whenever I see people protesting for us, it made me feel good. I'm not making this shit up, you know. It made me feel good because I know and I read someone cares about us. You I'm a refugee from many, many years ago and I know the hardship my parents had. I know that refugee experience. You're already stressed and traumatised and you're already missing your family and everything you know and everyone you know and to be put into a detention centre is just a horrific experience on top of an already horrific experience. The word freedom has been made in science in the six languages of people inside this detention centre. We had lights and candles and, and I'm hoping that they can see us inside. It is getting to a point where the policies implemented are basically destroying the lives of, of people who have already been traumatised, who have already experienced traumatic situations in their home life, looking for shelter, looking for, for freedom, looking for a way to survive and we're telling them not only can you not come here, you come here we'll lock you up forever and by we I mean the government will lock you up forever. I don't agree with that. to lock up innocent men, women and children. They are pulling funds from social welfare. They are defunding universities and hospitals and education and deregulating university fees. So that they're not just attacking refugees, they are attacking us all. So this is something that we really need to unite on as Australians. out in the rain on a cold and dreary night supporting refugees and refugee rights. 
we allow the crimes of our governments, if we allow the persecution of the persecuted, if we allow the brutal murder of Reza Barati to go unpunished, it is a dark path we are heading down as a nation and as a people. These criminals must be stopped by whatever means necessary. That is why we need to build a real social movement, a powerful social movement which will challenge the government, challenge its policies, challenge these walls, these centres of injustice, despair and distress. The pain of those inside is so real that, we, that many have opted to go back to their countries, countries such as Iraq, which have been crippled by years of war and armed conflict. The one thing I would leave with you is this. This policy will not be beaten in Parliament. It will not be beaten in the courts or in the media on their own. We must compel them. We need to make the situation so unpalatable, so politically costly, that the Liberals are forced to abandon their regime of terror.